Breathable Baby Bumper is a wonderful product for your crib. The Breathable Bumper has safety features that are most important to keeping a safe nursery, like reducing the risk of suffocation, keeping arms and legs stuck in crib slats, and climbing. Hi, I'm Susan Waters. My husband Dale and I invented the Breathable Bumper. Today I'm going to show Crystal how to install the bumper on many styles of cribs. Great. Okay, and it comes with two panels, mm -hmm. a long panel and a short panel. Easy in enough. Your, in your package. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to show you that there's two sides to the mesh. There's the larger hole size and then there's the back side. And this is the side that is actually going to be facing inside the crib. Oh, it's yeah. a little softer. It's and that a little bit of a cushion too. Yes, and mm -hmm. that will be facing the baby. Great. The inside of the crib, okay? And the Velcro, you'll notice, will be facing on the outside of the crib. Okay, all right. Now we're going to take our long panel, mm -hmm. which is on the back, and you're going to find the tie that is in the center of the panel, and we're going to tie that to the center slat in the back of the crib. Just in a bow? Yep, you can tie that in a bow, and this will help us to know that there's the same amount of fabric on each side, so it'll be centered on your crib. Okay. Now in some cribs, there is no center slat. It might be like off to this, there might be two, like one right here, one here. So this might be open, and if that is your crib, then you will be tying it to the one closest to closest wherever this is. Closest to the center. Center, correct. So it's basically just a marker to help us yes. put and it in the crib And the correctly. tie also will help keep it a little snugger to the slats. Okay. Okay. So now you're going to take your panel, and we're going to weave it around the inside of the back corner post. Okay. So you're going to go like, like I'm doing right here. And then we're going to weave it back inside the crib again. So it's basically, if I do it on this side, you weave it around. Yep. And so you're going to actually have two slats yep. appearing? Two slats will be shown. And not the corner slat. Correct. Great. And now we're going to pull it along the inside of the crib. And if you also notice, I left my Velcro closed while mm -hmm. I was weaving. That is so that it doesn't catch on the mesh and stay. So now you're going to undo your Velcro, and you're going to go around the first or the last slat on this side. Now wait till you get yours. Okay. So the last slat, and back inside the crib, along the slats. Can yeah. I go now around the it, first? Yeah, no, that's correct. Now go on the inside there, and then attach. Ah, okay, so the inside. Mm -hmm. And attach it to the top and bottom, the Velcro. So you're seeing the slat. Yes. Okay. So, and then we'll want to have it snug. Okay, see how nice that is? Yeah. Now we're also going to push it down just below the mattress, like one inch, yeah. so that the trim doesn't show. That's about one inch. And that allows so that it protects their arms and legs from getting underneath there and getting stuck. Okay. Great. Isn't that nice? Now we're going to take the short panel and we're going to do the same thing. Again, we're going to want the correct mesh side facing inside the crib, okay. which again is the larger hole size. So find the ribbon. And find the ribbon and, and find, find the center, center slat, which would be right there. Right here. Tie that in a bow. Actually, I like the little bow, the yeah. ribbon on the outside. It adds a little decoration. Yeah. And also, if you can see, if you can see this, can the camera see this? See how you can see my hand through here? Oh yeah, you can completely see right through it. Yeah, now that's nice. That's showing that it is breathable. And so if a child does put their head up against here, they can breathe. And it also allows a mom to see, and the baby to see the mom through the mesh. Oh, that's which great. Which is comforting to a baby. Of course. Now we're going to do the same thing and weave around the inside of the corner posts in the front. So basically the exact same thing we just did. Yes. And this is so that we are covering all of the spaces in the crib, so there are no gaps. Okay. And now on the So backs, now I'm ending on the outside. Yep. Now if you'll notice, you're going to undo your Velcro, and we're going to weave around the second slat. And go right through there, and I'll do on my side first, and then make sure you do your side correct. Okay. And then you're going to pull that, and you're going to attach your Velcro. And that totally covers the crib. Great. Okay. So, now I have so my let's see. Undone. Yep. Let's see if you did. And then I basically I find the open slat, so yes. I pass this one and I come through. Yes. There you go. Kind of pull, pull it so that they're all 
and just go right back on top of itself. Yes. Look at how easy that is. Okay. And then, perfect. Perfect. And see how nice, and then you just push it down a little bit so that it goes below yes. the bumper and everything matches up. And everything's covered. Well, that's actually beautiful. And the breathable bumper really is a, a wonderful product for the baby's car. It really is.